So that means we gotta pretend like we're busy and we're gonna put a battery in the 47 Chrysler and see if it turns over. We're not gonna start it today, but we're gonna see if it'll turn. We'll grab a battery. Uh, just back the tractor. Just boost it with the tractor. If it wasn't a fluid drive, we could just tow it around with the tractor. And to start it, like, yeah. Okay. Now. You have a key, you have a key for it? No. Nope. The keys were lost many generations yeah, yeah. ago. So, hot one goes to the starter. Yeah. Um, we have to cross it, don't we? Make sure it's in neutral, eh? Oh, it ain't gonna go anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. I think this thing okay. has neutral right now. I'm standing it's, right it's here. All so. yeah. <laughs> it's all neutral. No, I'm not going to stand there. Yeah, right. It's all the same. Wrong. Nobody the seems to be standing there. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so obviously, I got something wrong there. Oh, yeah, if you hook it there, then you need a key. Yeah, or you just touch these two wires together. Yeah. So. With a pair of pliers? Yeah. Go grab something to do that. We were looking at this yesterday, and you know that's not the right radiator for this thing. It's not even bolted in. It, you know what's holding it in is these wires here. Really? Yeah. yeah. Holy yeah. Dinah. Yeah. See this wire here that goes to the horn, and that one over there. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Cause that you should at least get a spark. Or well, something. yeah. How about this bullshit, eh? Yeah. That's fucking insane. No. Is this uh, how you it, steal Lamborghinis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, I can't even see what I'm trying to do in there. I gotta pull that off and clean it up. Well, this looks sketch town. Then it's gonna poke around. Mm. <sighs> you okay, well, clearly I don't know what I'm fucking doing. Well, I kind of thought that. Maybe it's just toast. But I wasn't, I was no, we got the starter spinning. I was going to be polite oh, okay. and not... No, we got the starter spinning, yeah, but it's okay. the starter spins anyway. Um, well, next thing would be take this off and then see if we can lever the gear out. That's just this little thing here. What do I hear there? What the hell's that? You hear that? Rattlesnake? Something hissing? What the fuck? No, it's your airline. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Okay, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, had me fucking nervous here. <laughs> There's a snake in the Chrysler. You never know. Could be. <laughs> oh, the fucking solenoid wasn't gonna pull this in anyway. That's fucking rough. Just loosen it all up. Yeah. Uh, there it goes. It's starting to loosen up now. Oh, good. You hear it? There it goes. We just gotta get it to stay there now. There it goes. All the way. Okay. Fucking miserable. Fucking garbage. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. How about I will take this guy. I'm going to put this on here. So, Tom, you get to push that on there and I'm going to lever this. Okay. I can't do both at once. Nope. Oh, look who's here. That's some good timing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God, if I'd have known you were coming, I would have stayed home. Hit it. And... Oh, 
Oh yeah. Good. That's good. That turns over. Yeah. Put some gas in it, eh? That ain't gonna stop. What'd you say? Put some gas in it. Put some gas in it. It's not gonna run on you. That ain't Is it? didn't That's sound it. awesome. What's going on, man? What's happening? Not much. Not much. See, we're back at it. It turns huh? over though, eh? That's well, we got to make a race car for this year, don't we? <laughs> yeah, this We have never, a few of these, don't we? Don't we have a few of these, eh? Um, yeah. Well, I remember I said I wanted to put this one up on the gravel by the T-Garage because yeah. it matches the old Dodge. Right. And I thought, well, since it's out... Uh, since it's, it's out, we may as well eh? paint it. Yeah. Get the sandpaper out. I got the tape. Right. Start taping the moldings. Start taping the moldings <laughs> off. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, but the good news is that the starter works. And it turns so over. So if we did decide to get it going, over. yeah, and it turns over. Yeah, so now it turns over. Yeah. yeah. That's like just I how see. this goes. This. <laughs> I, see. I see. All you need is some gas now. <laughs> well, the head would have to come off. Always. Always. I think it's just good sense. Because once we take the head off and clean them up, they always run so nicely. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. no point in even trying. It makes a, such a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Because to get it running on four cylinders going blip, 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 like what's the point? I no, want to. The I only agree. way we're doing it is if it purrs. So, uh, well, it's not seized. I didn't think it was seized when I bought it. And uh, it was nice to see that the uh, the starter. What do you think nice. of the rack? You like that? What do you mean? What Look am I looking at here? Cool. Oh, that looks awesome. Yeah, doesn't it? But it's it's only wired in there. I was gonna say it doesn't yeah. fit real nice. No, it no. doesn't fit well, at all. But you. It's, yeah, it's just wired to the horns and. <laughs> yeah, somebody literally put it in with wire and nothing yeah. else. Yeah. So the weight of the fluid, eh? Keeps yeah, the the rigidity of the yeah. dried and up. And you don't want to step on the gas too fast and no, suck, right, it back. suck it back. Yeah. Suck mm -hmm. What does the side look like? Oh, no, it's done it. They did a good job. Clearly, yeah. yeah. it works, eh? It's in good shape. So. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful. The engine is not the problem of this one. Maybe we can get it going, but you see, there's some bits missing down there. They're in the trunk, but that would all have to be reassembled. See the clutch linkage? Uh, it's all just hanging. Uh, but it'd be fun if it ran. Then you can move it around at least, eh? Well, more yeah. than once every 10 years. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. This literally is the first time it's moved since I've Actually, it's sat right there, right and the, yeah, there was only there two, two tires yeah. that were yeah. down a little bit. It sat there yeah. the whole yeah. time. Yeah, the tires weren't even flat on it. Not really, no. No. But you would have done the tires, though. I put one or two on. I was looking, we watched the video where we bought this car. And that tire was already on it, I think. Anyway, I put one or two on it, I'm pretty sure, just to get it to, to roll around. But that was about all I did. Throwing beers and stuff, that was hilarious. I'm just hey, like, we should do a telethon, eh? We, oh, like a, like hey, a Timmy can telethon? Can doing this? Yeah, we can sit here, eh? Like, like, you'll get it, get it. Can you do like a number across the board? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> both, yeah, right? <laughs> and they call you're it. Right, getting fucking pledges? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, just on the phone, you're like, oh, thank right. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> what do we tell uh, It's from Larry and like, Well, <laughs> we'll <laughs> try and make it 20 bucks or something. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, telethon. Did <laughs> you get a couple beers or something? <laughs> <laughs> telethon just to buy beer. <laughs> we could buy a car. <laughs> what? We could buy a car, that'd be funny. Uh, now that we know this thing turns over, I think that uh, I'm going to start by uh, pulling the cylinder head off because that always seems to, uh, you know, lead to a much better engine in the end than just uh, hoping for the best. So we're going to pull the head and uh, clean it up inside these flatheads. It's just a matter of uh, we got to cut one or two hoses possibly, pull a few little things apart, and uh, we'll. Have a look under the cylinder head. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Oh, I didn't expect that. What? Now we have to drain everything. 
She moved. You do it. Oh, I I'm just not. I can't see it, so I can't do it. Okay. And, well, I'm not happy about the broken one, but. We'll figure it out if we get everything else done. These were, they were kind of crowded. I would have preferred that the top break off, not the bottom, but unfortunately, that's the way she goes. We need to uh, get the temperature sender out. Very exciting. It's always fun when you get to take the head off, but sometimes it's a bit disappointing too. <laughs> so we're going to try to lift the head with absolutely everything still attached today. Did you take that wire off? Huh? Or you just loosened the screw? Oh yeah, I just loosened the screw. Okay, we got to get that wire off if you want to finish that. Actually got the sender not loose out twisting the line off so I don't know what's the way this is gonna come out of here but it's gonna be a mess up. Oh wow huh. actually looks decent at first glance anyway. Okay I'm gonna get can you grasp that end of it. Uh-huh. Okay, because if you can kind of help me, then we can take it out. I just can't hurt the gasket, because I don't want to buy a gasket. There we go. Okay, we're oh, good. Brass, I right? got it. Yeah, it's copper, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, there. <laughs> okay, well, that will have to get cleaned up and reused, probably. Go. Be careful with that guy. Mm -hmm. And shit, this engine is uh, definitely got some slight wear, but it's nowhere near as bad as it could have been. This is gonna run great. I think it's fine. Like it needs cleaning up, but mm -hmm. uh, that's we've seen way worse than that. Uh -huh. That's that's really pretty good. And look at that. It even had antifreeze in it the whole time. Even when it sat in that junkyard for 50 years, the antifreeze never leaked out. Well, let's put some plates on her. The good news is there's just a bit of that stud sticking out. So we might be able to weld a nut to it. That would be excellent. Well, it wouldn't be summer if we didn't waste a bunch of time on some derelict junker. I see, it won't drain below there. Well, the funny thing about that, it means the water pump is still good too. Because if the water pump was shot, it wouldn't have had the, that much antifreeze in it still. Um. So, if the water pump is good, and the rad's good, and the engine's good, well, she will run. Sure, we got much newer cars that are in worse shape than this. <laughs> Pistons don't even, oh, they slap around a bit. A little bit of knocky there, but, oh yeah. But that's okay. That'll run, that doesn't matter. Okay, that's exciting. When you get the heads off, they kind of smell like old leaded gas. You can smell the lead. Yeah, no burnt valves. 
no stuck valves as far as I can see. We almost should have done a compression check. <laughs> this guy's not quite seated. So yeah, a little rusty for sure. Definitely could use a little honing and uh, the cylinders are great. There's no gouges in any of them. Not even a little stripe in any of them that I can see. So I'm gonna see if I can turn the engine by hand. That is amazing. What, what a fine machine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this valve is not seating at all, so something's a bit fishy there. That would have had no compression. Now we can check backlash in the cam chain. Oh, I can't turn it the other way. Okay. I think it's going to need a timing chain. If you can move the crankshaft like 20 degrees and the distributor rotor doesn't move, then the valve timing is just poo poo. Aww. It just means that we're not getting it run until we got that. I can move way more than this without the. <laughs> without the cam moving, so we got a uh, serious cam or a uh, timing chain problem, but that's uh, so those are the two major problems. Valves need cleaning, needs a timing chain. Overall, I will call that a success. Certainly had worse. Kind of fun to look inside these old things and see how time has treated them because most of them were crushed before I was born. But we definitely have a saveable one here. You can see there's some light surface rust on the cylinders but they're really smooth and uh, no, no gouges. A little bit of footprint where the rings were sitting but nothing too serious actually really for what we are used to that's a pretty decent engine and of course the usual carburetor and tune-up bullshit but so that means we are going to be pulling the whole front of the engine off unfortunately I don't see any way of getting it running without a timing chain so that's it on this guy until we have a timing chain at least the radiator is going to be easy to get out. It's just held in with wire. <laughs> okay, we've, uh, by we I mean my lovely assistant, has spent a few minutes cleaning out the inside of the old Chrysler and removed the headliner and that's going to make it a little less toxic in there. It's never going to be anything but a junker but you know you get the idea anyway of the kind of the feel of how it must have looked when it was not junk and uh would have been a pretty special car when it was new frankers likes it go on get in there you go what do you think hey eh? stella liked it too it's for you now okay that's where we're at i'm uh, actually uh, mildly encouraged i thought it would be substantially worse than that not too bad for uh, 77 years and counting uh, probably hasn't run since, I mean, I'm guessing, but uh, I think Reg got this car probably in the early 70s and it may have run then. So let's figure 50 plus years since this thing run. And a couple of really pleasant surprises, like the radiator doesn't leak. It was still holding antifreeze after all these years. Uh, even the water pump might still be, you know, runnable. So we're going to uh, order some bits and we'll be picking at this, uh, you know, we're going to pick at it over the course of the summer. I can't drop everything that actually matters to play with the old heaps, but uh, you guys requested it, so uh, I'm really optimistic that it's going to run. I'm actually, well, with the timing chain, virtually 100% chance she'll run unless we find some catastrophic rod knock or whatever, but so we'll get it running and if and when it runs, we will uh, probably have to crawl underneath and sort out what has all happened to the transmission and clutch linkage. It's mostly broken off and thrown in the trunk, so there's a lot of bent stuff, a lot of 
not very good looking situation under there but if the transmission itself is intact this is also a fluid drive car so who the hell knows what's going on with that I have very little experience with those other than Mark's 41 Dodge which we kind of just topped her up and it seems to work fine I think it's a fairly robust and reliable system but again some damage from who knows what over the years uh, all right we'll check in you know, every week or two we'll check in with the old Chrysler and see how it's going. And I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing this run like I am. I uh, don't know if we got time to get two going and have a race this year, but uh, we'll certainly get this going and have a laugh. You need to make a bit more money, probably a thousand dollars or two? Two thousand dollars would be really nice. Yeah. Two thousand dollars? <laughs> no. Holy smokes. What would you, okay, what do you want for no, $2,000? A 74 Lincoln Continental Mark IV. Buy Dean a Mark IV <laughs> telephone. <laughs> Welcome back to Buy Dean a Mark IV we, telephone. Well, actually, yeah, hey, we'll let's get some ladies on the phones in the background. <laughs> Operators are standing by. Uh, Dean, tell us again about uh, why you want a oh, Mark IV. Right, hey, that's, they're just so gaudy and huge. Okay, it's an absolutely beautiful day today, and uh, I think it's time that we sort out some sweet wheels for the little black Renault. Uh, what I've got here is the other Renault, and uh, I'm going to uh, kind of borrow it as a, uh, as a lathe for the next hour or so. What we're doing is uh, I'm just going to pull the wheel off, put uh, one of the subject aluminum custom awesome Alpine wheels on, and I don't know if you can see, they're pretty chapped. You know, they're actually really sound, but the finish is uh, getting pretty tired looking. And I thought it'd be fun to freshen them up the best we can, and then I'll re-clear them. And we'll see if we can make them look uh, a reasonable facsimile to new again. And uh, there are places that will do this properly. Um, Ashley has a fellow in town who does a beautiful job on wheels. But since I'm a cheap bastard, I'm going to half-ass it right here in the driveway. So let's see how it goes. First I have to take the old weights off and then we're just going to start the car up and put it in first gear and I've got various grits of emery cloth here um, starting at looks like 60 grit and all the way up to maybe 180. I don't want a mirror finish on these because they never had such. Uh, they actually had a nice machine finish but uh, I don't, I think we're just going to try and replicate something that looks reasonably believable. The correct way to do this would be to put them on a lathe and resurface them with a with a cutting bit. Um, that's uh, just not really in the uh, in the budget here. So we're just going to take the old clear coat off, take the corrosion off, put a nice finish on them and uh, the purpose of having them on the car is so that I basically can just hold the sandpaper and you know you'll get the idea. That's kind of what we're going for. It's going to take a few minutes, so I won't make you uh, watch the whole thing, but tell you what, we'll, uh, I'll do one and we'll put it beside one that we haven't done and we'll see if we think it's worth the effort because there's definitely going to be a few minutes here that we're not going to get back. 
Well, there you can see after, uh, I don't know, probably close to an hour on that one wheel, we've got her looking pretty good. I uh, don't want to get too carried away or remove too much material, but uh, they're not supposed to be a super high gloss, so I'm going to just give them a quick, uh, quick buff and polish, and that's kind of the best we're going to get out of it without spending a bunch of money. We'll, uh, we'll rejoin this when Franker's shuts up. Okay, we've hit a snag on the Renault rims. Uh, this one seems to have suffered some pretty serious damage at some point. I didn't see it, and Bruce didn't see it, and nobody's to blame, but uh, there's a pretty serious ding in this one, and substantially out of round in that one spot. So I'm going to have to send that in. It's just a little outside of what we can do here. Um, there's a specialist that Ashley uses who does a very fine job. The thing is, meanwhile, I'd like to still finish the car and put something together. So I'm going to go, these are going to be on hold until I get that back. Don't know how long that's going to take. Meanwhile, I have a very nice set of factory wheels. Uh, these are the factory sport rim for the R5, and these are in excellent condition. The same place that's going to fix this one, fixed this one some time ago. Uh, and they did a very nice job. This one, it was uh, quite badly bent in here, curbed I think. So anyway, uh, they did a nice job repairing that. So I've got a full set of four of these in beautiful shape, but they've somebody has lacquered them at some point, and the lacquer is way too thick and it's turning yellow. So because I have no life at all, I'm going to strip the lacquer off of these and clean them up and uh, reshoot them with some uh, just regular automotive clear, and then those will be getting. Uh, a set of tires. They were going to go on the gold car, but they're going to go on the black car for now just to get it on the road. Uh, this plan has been slightly modified now. You can see I'm uh, very happy with how nicely they're cleaning up. Bit disappointing to have to get that repaired, but the uh, the outside of it is fine. Just the inside is that's just not going to run right. There's actually a hairline crack in it, so we'll see. I hope the repair doesn't cost more than the wheels are worth, but at this point I've kind of painted the car and everything with the intent that these are the wheels that are going on, so we're just going to have to shut up and like it, I guess. Okay, got the yellowed clear coat off of them and got them cleaned up uh, pretty reasonable. You can see this one never had any clear on it. It's not quite the same shade as black as the other ones, but I'm hoping that with a little bit of... Uh, clear on everybody, they should all look pretty close to the same, and the uh, the time budget is already blown on these, so they're going to be whatever they are, and I'm sure they're going to look just fine, and uh, we just got to keep on moving. I'm going to go mix up some clear and dust it on here. They're getting one wet coat, and that should do it. So we're back in the garage. It's more tires. Today we got some Mr. Chang radial whatevers. Now are you going to write some 13 inch music intro over it? Yeah, you know, like some 17570 <laughs> special music 17570 <laughs> blues. Yeah. <laughs> it's in 138. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice these job. These are pretty clean. Oh, they're all right. Yeah. So, we did these yesterday and now we're just going to whistle them up. Oh, those look just fine. Uh, we'll throw them on the balancer and then we'll throw them on the car. Right, we've got the uh, wheels uh, installed on the little black Renault. Uh, again, these are the ones that are eventually going to go on the gold car, but I put them on this car until the Alpine wheels are fixed. Uh, anyway, I actually really like it. Let's have a quick look. And there we go. It actually looks quite good. Very happy with that. These were actually available on these cars when they were new. And... Uh, I bought these from uh, Bruce, the agent that I bought the other wheels from, and I bought these ones a couple of years ago, and didn't actually have this black car at the time, but uh, I think they suit it very nicely. I think as early as tomorrow, we'll be putting a battery in this, 
I gotta move it out of here because we've got Dan and Paul from the GCFCE stopping by with a little uh, touch-up project for me and uh, be kind of fun to pull the little Renault out in the sun and see how she looks. Once I've got a battery in I can install the wipers and then fog lights and then uh, I honestly think detail and plates. It's, uh, it's all looking very nice and the wheels were uh, a nice easy finishing touch. Oh, eventually I'd like to find some center caps. So if anybody knows where they get those, you can leave us a note. Stay tuned. In the next week or two, we will have the official finished car video with a little test drive. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. And then it goes in the garage with the rest of the fleet and on to the next one. You know, I'd have to have entertainment or giveaways. You know, I'd have to keep the money rolling in somehow. You gotta have a bit of a. <laughs> just get to sit here and drink beer. I'm like, ah. Or I can maybe. That's I remember right. sometimes I'd spill, like, I'd, be, I'd go to like parties and stuff and hang out and, and I'd be just drinking all night and I'd be like, oh yeah. And then all of a sudden I'd like pass out and like I'd like spill beer right on my crotch. <laughs> ah, ah. And then I'd be mad at myself because, you know, like you're so stupid. You look like you pissed yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Heard some rumbling sounds. <laughs> Who's there? Who's there? Well, not a bad afternoon, gents. What the hell's going on? <laughs> hey! The usual. <laughs> Jesus. The usual. Cool. Okay, let's just hang this on here and see where you we want get. a couple just to hold it. Yeah, there? just so we know. Well, put everything we've got so that we know what we're looking for. Does that yeah. seem reasonable? Yeah, you got about a quarter inch of thread, maybe a little less. Uh, a little less. Let's see here. That seems not totally unreasonable, I guess. We may end up taking some bolts from another engine then sure. because this is all starting to look pretty goddamn random <laughs> you know which is not oh well, it's not ideal impressive. Right? Yeah, short, like this short, one's too small. short oh i can't believe we're doing it again eh more that's junkers easy. eh that's a sweet car in its own shitty way it's a full size okay? it's a full size that's like a c body from oh. 1947 what is up, you fucking pirates? He'd be working on it uh -oh. and just yeah, it was sweet. Like, yeah. but same thing. He's like sixty-two. Yeah, let's and go. He, and he was yeah. same thing, man. Like I tapped, I chased. Yeah, the quarter oh, twenties. So yeah. And uh, looks awesome. This one had a little bit of fucking shit in there, but that's fine. It's good. Okay, great. It's totally fine. Everything tightened up. Nice. Is it joint time, Al? Oh, I don't have any weed. Oh, I got lots of weed. We're back at the old show. Working on the same old shit. So we need what? Three gaskets? Yeah, we're yeah. gonna make a quadruple gasket sandwich. Check this out. That's good. So. That's crazy. <laughs> Bullshit. We went to the trouble. We got all the right, correct bolts from the same locations on the other yeah, engines. We got our paint now. There we go. That is, as far as we can see, the match to this original bracket. So cool. Um, that's a favorite color of mine. Yeah, it's actually going to look pretty cool. It just yeah. wasn't? It just wasn't? Let's hope that we can press the impeller on, on a little chance. further. Right? That's where it's hitting, right there. I didn't uh, even think. It all went together so nice. You think you guys would just be able to hit that on? Hit it on. Like you only need a bit, or do you grind these? Or do you just grind it? Yeah, that's yeah. the question. It's hitting here. Yeah, well, it Not seems here. to be right. But really, there's no reason why we can't just press this down. Well, what if there is a reason and we break it? That's the thing. Well, can you see through the side here? Is there room yeah. on the shaft to oh, slide? Oh, absolutely. Down? Yeah, like there's an eighth absolutely. of an inch. You could press it on. You'd have to support the shaft. Yeah, well, that's and easy press enough. This and you. <clears throat> it's easy enough to press it. It's. It, are we absolutely positive it's not pinned in any way or snap because if you try pressing it there's a snap ring or and then now you're fucking totally I, I think it's just I pressed see. on. Okay. I, I think suspect it's just pressed it on too. 
But how? how and well, you have how lots hard? of clearance here. Right. You got lots of clearance there. <clears throat> so how would you? They just fucked would up you do the it install in a press? here. Yes. Or would you do it? They didn't get with it a hammer and to. socket. Press. Hmm. I, Honestly, I think there's less way to go wrong with a hammer. hammer and a socket. Yeah, it's true. And the press, if it does any obvious. of this, yeah. yeah. It's well, not, I'll tell you what, I would start with that. If it doesn't go easily, then, then maybe work your way up, but... <laughs> it's funny. It's, so you can't it's, do it's the first thing you always do. You put a new water pump in, you... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't do that. It's so funny. But I'm glad, you know, I'm glad it's super close. Well, and it hasn't <laughs> set up at all. No. Yeah. Or we just fire it up and it'll fucking create enough. Oh, fuck. Dude, you been like, oh, crank. Who put that crank in? Uh, I knew you like, think it was everything else, right? Oh, no, no, yeah. How can it be the water pump? Yeah. This looks steel and that looks aluminum. That loses. Yeah, it'd make fine work of that. <laughs> right. Oh. That yeah. loses bad. This would chew out pretty fast. But then, pretty you know, fast. it would, it would, it would of, work. It would probably work. just even out. It would. And then it would be like, man, this thing moves the water because it'd be a nice tight <laughs> It'd be there. so tight. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to grind it, yeah, but I don't want to hammer it either. Let's hammer it. You want to hammer it? Let's okay. fucking hammer it. Are we doing oil first then? Let's, Let's do, do oil. oil. I want to see if we have oil. Okay. Either way, you're right. We don't. I'll Let's hammer it. it. Ash wants oil pressure before he goes home. Well, I do want to see oil pressure. I want to hit it with a hammer and melt it. You do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We're all different. All right. Um, well, Al, hit it with a hammer then. You want to put it on a nice uh, vise, so like a uh, anvil next door? Do you like, want me to put it on a nice anvil? Well, I don't know. I mean, you want to hit it with a hammer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is not it's an not ideal. Be, no. He's going for it. Do you want an anvil? Oh, oh you got, got one right here. <laughs> all right, let's see how it goes. I almost think somebody else should hit it, and I should just stage it all. I think like if I stage that, and you gave it a blow, and then it's... Oh, I see how this is going, though. You see what <laughs> I mean, though? And now I'm hitting it. Yeah, absolutely. Hope I hold it. Oh, oh it. yeah, you this is even hammer. better. Yeah, this is way better, because then we can't miss. Mm -hmm. Ready? Is this going to F off? I'm dead center on that <laughs> anvil. Like straight. Okay. And we're not going to go too much. Let's see. Did it work? Oh. Yeah, no, I did a pretty good work. selective process okay. of tools nice. here. There was never any good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm really... The thing I with grinding like that might is there's a 0% chance of, of absolutely fucking it to death. Yeah. yeah. Where is this? But you know what? If it's moving, I haven't hit it that hard. Give it another one. And then let's put it on without the gasket. And if it spins, it's we're just gonna... barely proud now. That's if you right think it's in. moved at all, then I we don't think there's a pin. A I haven't hit it now. very hard. That was probably the hardest I've hit. Give me another one of those. <laughs> There. Nice, I liked that one. Did it move? Oh that yeah, didn't, buddy. If that didn't move. That moved. Oh, it's very barely, barely. Right. Yeah, let's do it again then. You want to prep, make it, make it flush. <laughs> well, this we might as well. Yeah, if it moves once. This is the one. Yes. Yeah, it's flush now. That's okay, so let's try it without the gasket. Like, not bolt it on. And if that clears, then we're good. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So what do you do with the... Wow. It's not enough. The gas is Way better, be... but... <clears throat> well, we've got room to go. Because there's nothing, nothing, nothing. Suddenly it's just... Like, we're better. Nice. Here, let's see this. This is a pro shot, boys. It kind of is. We'll, we'll be able to tell which one is hitting. Yeah. All right. We're happy? Everybody's happy. I love Thank it. You. Thank you. Better put a bolt or two then. Just so we don't get any false readings. Yeah, we yeah. don't want that. Let's get a couple in there. We want all the information to sound. Right. Yep. This will be an approximation anyway. Just keep doing this till yep. it smooths yeah. out, eh? Mm -hmm. It's here. It's oh, here. yeah, right. Clearly there. It's here. And it's yeah, you're right. not yeah, so much it's here, but it's definitely these two edges. 
Fun. Anyways, you guys got this. But imagine uh, laying at that. You're out of here. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. So we never got the uh, the oil pressure. Oh, it'll be fine. That's all for <laughs> the camera, anyway. Hey, we'll we'll see snap. you next time. Um, thank you again. Had a wonderful trade. Here, I want You're to welcome. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's so great to see you. So, this is the uh, old engine's farewell tour, eh? That's literally it. Yeah. Listen to that. <laughs> fender rocker. Fender Check this out. Oh, that's, this it sounds cool. like rod knock. See you, buddy. Thanks again, eh? Yeah. Good time. Sure. You want me to hit it? Yeah, I don't care. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody fucking hit it. That sounded good. Ready? Mm. Yeah, we're getting proud now. Nice. Proud. I'm proud. I'm proud to be party of this. <laughs> this party. Buddy. Oh, proud Mary. You want some more proud? We got yeah. almost an eighth of an inch. And if it was on before with just a gasket, then... Stoner. Okay, I like putting on that upside yeah, Stoner time, eh? <laughs> just like, doo doo doo. Okay, you got... You're not going to yeah. be able to turn it. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know who's the editor, right? That is uh, fucked. I mean, it's not, it's not hitting. I can't make it hit. No. Well, then that's... No. Are You're we good. done, then? Of course. All they had to do was just push it on a little Once bit further. I wonder how many of these we came back. <laughs> hmm? But then what would have we done? Yeah. <laughs> oh, are we doing gasket and glue nerd time? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. done a really nice job. Let's yeah, see. so now I gotta butcher it. I don't use that stuff. Yeah. You don't use this? No. Oh, I love it. What do you use? Loctite 518, fine scale. Never it hardens. Oh, yeah? It's the business. Yeah, is that something that uh, they might have used, say, on trains? It may have been also used on other things like trains. <laughs> I, if I were working on trains, if a guy I'd say be worked at a place where they worked on trains, a guy might have laid his hands on it's some of this. Very possible. <laughs> very possible. Hmm. Spoken <laughs> like a man who's treated himself to some, possibly. Get your hands on some. It's like us. smearing on like some friggin' magic. Nice grape jelly. Okay. And it, it's always like that. It, it smears purple? like a grape jelly, just yeah, like all goes around. on really nice, like you know what I mean. Yeah. And and it comes out of like almost a toothpaste type tube. Yeah. So it's really pliable. Yeah, and it's a plastic tube, not these tin tubes that are all fucking shitty. Right. And it like it never solidifies and hardens. Like so, when you go to take it apart, like your gas, you can take the whole gasket off, and you can just like clean the shit off it again. Nice. It's the fucking best. Nice. Okay. What am I hearing? Something. Still need more? It's a bit rubby, isn't it? Good thing the tools are still out, or are they? Well, we need to have a datum, and then we can hit it and see what we've done, you know? Where are we here? I don't know, man. <laughs> we're like, me. oh, all I have is big <laughs> coins. I don't have little coins. I have I no coins. We're about a dime, bo dime above a toonie. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> no, fuck. Get that away. <laughs> what the actual tool? No, no, this is good, right? Yeah, all right. You would, you would confirm? No, it confirms. Let's yeah. try and get a quarter over a toonie. Right, hit it. Did it move? Toonie quarter. <laughs> Bud. Check it out. That was tuning quarter. Did you want to verify? <laughs> no, I believe you. You left a piece of tape inside here. Don't even. No, you did. Yeah, but it's hard to get out. Oh, fuck. Right, check it out. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's flush. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll hang so it back we on. Yeah. We'll hang it back on. Because we're getting down to something that might move water now. This has been an ordeal. It fucking has. Fucking nothing goes easy here.
Everything's just got to be a fucking goddamn gong show, eh? Yes. Okay. Still good? <laughs> okay, what's downstairs here? Nobody so we... gets to torque it. Yeah, that's right. This is how tight they're getting. Dust rolled in. You've not seen that? Oh, man. Awesome. You want to laugh? You should watch it. I like laughing. Yeah, I know it's not your thing. Really if you ever did feel like having a laugh, you think that you have a low opinion of people's brain power now. Yeah. And believe me, I went into this already thinking people are retards. Yeah. Just watch a couple of minutes of that. It, it really, it opened my mind to things that I didn't know that people would do to their cars. Like, so it was like a trip? Yeah, it was trippy. It was trippy. Like, you will laugh. And you will, but you will not feel better about humanity. So it's one of those kind of situations. Ah, yeah. Not that you need, or I need a ton of. You know, I'm fairly positive, so. Overall, yeah, overall, that's what people say about you. Yeah. A bit disappointing. Why? Yeah. Well. Turtles, it shouldn't be there. disappointing? That it had to be fucked with so much? No, not all that's behind you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's only clear blue skies. And yeah, now, have. what's what's disappointing? Now you're smiling. Ooh, did you see that? There you go. Yeah. That's the right direction. The torque load just hits. The tape is a problem. But I hear oil squooshing around. Yeah. Good sounds. Ooh, yeah, you don't you gotta want to lose the tape. Fucker inside. No. Okay. Uh think it's, it's working. It's working. Duct tape instead of masking? No. Mm, hammer it on really hard with a hammer um, oh, so that you can away. never use it again. Well, we can do that. But at least I think the pump is primed. You like might it's, have it's to rotate. It's doing something. Mm, no, that's heavy. You see any oil? Hey, I see oil, oh, you guys. Oil, oil, oil. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it comes, it's all coming out of there. Yep. It's out of the towers, down the tube. Yeah. And drips. Out. My tube is not wet yet. Well, it's wet no, underneath it, though. Oh, is it underneath? Yeah. There. Yours is See? wet all over. Yeah, here, here, it's off here, the end here, here too. Nice. Yeah, yeah, we're good. No, oh, 100% good. Is it just gonna run on the floor because of our excellent engine? No, no, it's gonna stand? go back down. Oh, okay. So we've got enough. <laughs> is there? Because she's down wall? at the bow, Captain. Yeah, a little bit. No, it's gonna hit a, a rock, push rod hole. Okay. And go back down. That's kind of fun, though. Mm -hmm. This would be like a real slow idle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this real battery is just like, oh, yeah. what's going on here? <laughs> Go on, I'm just for putting pictures on the wall. <laughs> That's fun though. It's working great. Right, all the way through. And nice and clean too some of the old yard cars when we pump the oil through them it's just this black disaster comes <laughs> roaring out that's really good i'm happy with that so good can enough. we say now that we can put the valve covers on and that with this thing would run well it'll have oil pressure that's right i guess <laughs> fair play well that's better than cranking it cranking it crank that worked really good that, right. there's two tools that will what never, size was that those tools will be together <laughs> forever now Oh, what do you use? You yeah. use a 15 millimeter because you only want to wreck metric tools. Okay. And the old hardware store flat screwdriver, and you just smash them on top of each other there. And if you like, you can paint it so everybody knows it's yours. But you can also knock that socket off the end. Maybe. Easy. Yeah, I kind of think I've used this more than I've used either of these tools separately. Right. Yeah, so it's better together. <laughs> They're better together. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we need valve cover bolts. It's like this is porky. Yeah. We gotta pick Some the best of the best. Stuff. Valve covers, you guys know. Valve covers, you know. It you guys, if you do the valve it covers matters. right. Yeah. I don't right. know. I don't know. It you, matters. You know. Al knows. Yeah. Shitty never, valve covers ruin never, an engine. Never paint a valve cover. I painted the valve covers for the three hundred two for the super red. <laughs> See? <laughs> I didn't want to, but I had enough. You didn't want to. And it looked like shit because I'd already restored the intake and I was like, oh, 
fuck's sake. <laughs> Guess <laughs> I painted the valve covers. But I didn't paint the air cleaner. No, he's going the dirty. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna clean it. Yeah, but it's right. fucking a bit scummy. Painted stupid things like I painted like the throttle linkage bracket that bolts to the head. Like I painted, you know what I mean? Like, Did you paint it all blue? Oh, only the things that should be blue. Yeah. Only yeah. Oh yeah. There. And I'm doing it all in pieces, of course, because then you can see the gaskets. Because I like that. Oh really? I love that. I love seeing the gaskets. I seeing the gaskets separate. separate. Oh my yeah, god. I love really? That. I did that once. My and then favorite. I was like, what am I doing? It's my favorite. I do it. I so much taping like and masking. I didn't, I didn't and cutting it off. And I didn't have you for an over restore guy. Oh, I am. I always have been. Yeah. Yeah. Then you see the, the worst of the one? worst. It's just over restored. Right, but then you say you're not a valve covers guy. What? What the fuck car are these for? <laughs> you gotta cut the little tabs off. That's all. Now, if you have some spray glue, what I do is I spray glue it to the valve cover. What's with the tabs? Well, they're for a different uh, valve. But they fit multiple side, yeah. multiple engines. Maybe the 425. Oh, it tabs. fits the later ones. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Well, yeah, take it easy, Al. Good seeing you, buddy. Yeah, good seeing you guys. Thanks so much. Oh, yeah. Good times. Good. Sort no problems. Summer's all here. You can take the quilted front off. I know. I got to get that off right away here. She's starting to run hot. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's so warm in here. <laughs> oh, that's so close. Close. Oh, oh so close. Oh, it's, it's fucking had it. We pushing it. Oh, you got to do the reverse trick. Yeah, I got the trick. Okay. Stand back a bit. I like that you figured that out by just that randomly thing? doing stuff. Like, because you just like fuck it. It just takes right off. Then yeah. right off. You just gotta get the clutch in before you fly back and then something. It's <laughs> like the way you'd expect the car to start. Like you almost every time. It's cool, eh? <laughs> I guess this whole video is just gonna be a <laughs> <laughs> fucking belt squeals and exhaust <laughs> battles. It's Buick uh, 364 paint job time. So I've got a color made up, got a very nice match off of the old uh, generator mount there. And it also matches pretty closely the uh, uh, reference I found online. So I'm going to, we're just gonna hit it. Uh, it's assembled, we got oil pressure, we got this sorted out, the pesky water pump. Got all of our correct bracketry on, which I just noticed have these cool numbers on them. According to which plug. I think there's supposed to probably be some plastic in here which has perished, but you see it's got one, three, five, seven, and this one, two, four, six, eight. And that's cool. And these are little indexes here. So that's where we're at. We've got all the right clamps for the heater hoses go through here. So that's correct. Got all the correct bolts and the washers, and I'm reusing the original uh, rubber grommets here because the ones from the gasket kit are are nothing. They're not even, they're just not right. So, managed to save the water pump. Again, uh, if it works, I'll be happy. That's all we can say about that. Okay, we're good. Good, paint it. All right, it's the next day. I thought maybe we'd like a look at how the old engine turned out after the paint job. And uh, I, uh, I'm actually very happy with it. I just had some dummy plugs in there. The lighting's a bit weird in here, I apologize. But I guess if you're still watching this show, you know that uh, that's how she goes. <laughs> Very nice shade of green and the fellows have done such a lovely job of prepping everything. It, it, uh, yeah, 
it's a bit spooky looking actually for uh for something that's going in any of my cars everything came out really nice it's very nice and clean and the paint looks good and the all the bolts and everything look nice and all the extra effort to get uh, the correct fasteners you know within reason it didn't go too crazy but these are the mounts for the generator bracket so I have to uh, I'm gonna have to paint that separately it would have covered too much of the engine if I had done it at the same time and it wasn't prepped yet so anyhow that's how far we've gotten now we can put the rest of the accessories and such on it and the next time you see this it should be looking like something that's getting pretty close to being able to run this week will be carburetor belts pulleys um you know basically everything we've got the road draft tube distributor there's some i think it's the coil bracket goes there you know lots of lots of work yet but uh really quite happy with how that looks and uh you know when you open the hood it's not going to uh it's not going to let the rest of the car down at all i don't think and i didn't get too carried away on this pan because as i say we're gonna put a a nicer pan on it once uh, once i get one out of uh, the engine that we're taking out of the car got enough paint on there i hardly needed gaskets by the looks of it i uh i loaded it on pretty good anyhow that's about it for that thought you guys might like a look at the finished paint job so we'll be putting it together and i'll start pestering dan about uh when we can fire this baby up we're gonna have to mount a transmission to it so that we can install the starter etc We've got to do something about putting a generator on, even if it's just to run the belts for now. But I think I have one that'll work. These, I don't have the little plastic that actually holds the plug wire, so if anybody knows where to get that, let me know. But I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. Okay, anyway, that's it. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail kind of shot here. Hey guys, thanks so much as always for watching the show. Uh, great time with all the boys and uh, always uh, feel very lucky to have such a quality group of friends who will come over and waste their afternoons and evenings uh, helping us, uh, you know, <laughs> helping me waste mine. I hope you're looking forward to 1947 Chrysler uh, startup showdown, whatever the hell we're going to call it. I don't really have a plan other than just uh, seeing what happens if we get this running. We've done so much of this type of thing over the years that it's, uh, I mean, I'm not really too afraid to uh, put it out there that we'll get this going. Interesting that this is the 250 or 51 cubic inch version of this engine that we've got probably half a dozen running examples of already. So not really much uh, new here, but uh, you know, there's always room for one more. And just like when I started doing this, uh, but 14 years ago next week, um, these cars are generally a little easier to deal with when you can just uh, move them around under their own power. Even once this car is running, it's not really a good one. The, the body mounts are soft and, you know, it's, it's an old girl and it's a great addition to the little collection here, but it's, it's not really realistic to the story. Besides that, we have multiple, uh, what I think are worthwhile cars coming up this summer, and I don't want to uh, spend any more than absolutely necessary putting this guy back into a running condition. I would rather be spending my time on the 59 Buick or uh, maybe Tom's 1960 Impala. Uh, we've got the resources and uh, pieces put together to, to start onto those cars, and those are cars that I've kind of always wanted, and you know, they're an iconic uh, tail fin car that I, uh, that's kind of my favorite stuff. So we're going to be tearing into those. Uh, we'll get the Chrysler going just for laughs. Yeah, if spring is coming, we'll have all the rest of the old fleet back outside. And I still have work to do on the 59 Fury, the 60 Fury, the 67 Fury. Not much to do on the 37 Chev, very happy to say. We've got uh, Model T coming up soon. A little bit more to do on that. I just was uh, visiting Matt and Jim at Strong's Garage and they had a exhaust manifold for me and uh, carry on tuning that guy up. I really want to get it uh, really running good this year now that it's kind of broken in. I really want to you know go for the performance. Uh, 
hope you guys are enjoying the Buick rebuild as much as I am. I'm very happy with how that looks and I'm very confident that it's going to fire right up over at Dan's. We'll be getting to that as soon as uh, Andy gets his small block forward off of there and we're going to be putting that into his fair lane. Some of you were asking how it was going with the city or town council and Laura's farm. Uh, I will leave a link to the entire presentation here. It's on the county website. I'll include a rough uh, note of when what's what. I did a very brief uh, presentation at that and I'll include it here uh, after the credits if anybody wants to see it. It'll be at the very end of this video and um, you know if anybody was wondering how I felt about it I think I outlined it there. Uh, thank you guys all so much. Thanks, as always, to the patrons of the show. It's because of you guys that I can do this show. Thank you to everybody who threw some money in the tip jar through PayPal. Very much appreciated. Uh, every bit helps keep us going here. Because you guys uh, keep the lights on around here, we can take the time to uh, maybe return a little bit of dignity to some of these old beaters and even possibly put some decent cars together. As always, uh, please double check if you think you are subscribed. It does make a big difference. Uh, YouTube does unsubscribe a lot of people from this channel for whatever reason. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do. It makes a big difference and uh, it provides a certain amount of encouragement to keep at it uh, every week after week. Uh, we're going on probably six years without a break here. No holidays, no breaks. I take it very seriously with, that people support the show and I, uh, you know, I go at it uh, as hard as I can every week. Thank you guys all so much. Please have a terrific week, and we'll see you very soon. Cheers. This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit.
We'll go to the next speaker, Scott Newstead, and he will be followed by Hedwig Lenkow and Kathy Flett. My name is Scott Newstead. Laura is my sister. Colin is my brother-in-law. Integrity and respect from your own mission statement. Timely and transparent. Yet here we are having this meeting with all of the blueprints done, the parking lot laid out, the pictures, the computer graphics, and apparently six figures already invested. And now we're having a token once over. having included uh, some convenient bypassing of the normal uh, process of permitting something like this, which I just learned about tonight, which I'm uh, really still trying to wrap my head around, frankly, to suggest that I am possibly becoming a little cynical might be understating it. <clears throat> The lovely lady a few speakers ago made my point for me, so I'm slightly sad that I'm not the first person who gets to say this, but we have had arguments from the Crusaders team, fine people, nobody's arguing that, even the people on my side. By the way, I'm against it. Not a single one of them has been against a new stadium or a rink or whatever. <clears throat> So that's a given. And yet here we are, six hours into this, I have yet to hear one single coherent sentence defending why it has to be right there. I'm, I'm just, I'm, not, I'm kind of speechless, frankly. Nobody is arguing that we need an arena. But there's not a single good reason to destroy this 145 year old farm. Timely and transparent, and yet the shovels are just parked on the side of the road. integrity and respect, and yet my sister is about to have her life destroyed and she finds out about it on the news. Uh, all of these fine people have given much more cohesive arguments on the legal points of this than I ever will, but this is your last chance to do the right thing. So, if you wish to complete 
your apparent goal of sowing cynicism regarding the political process and the public's place in that process, please do carry on as you were. But I fear that the CN line is not the only railroading going on here today. Thank you. I got 20 seconds left. <laughs> and with all respect, to suggest that that ship has sailed is like to suggest that we're all going to die, so let us help you. It's not the same thing. Cheers. Thank you for your submission, sir. Any questions? There's no questions. We'll go to the next speaker. I didn't Higley think so. Blanco.